Okay, here's a little spinning pyramid in 3D. You've seen it all before, haven't you? Well, it's actually an extension of the texture tutorial, not a spinning pyramid tutorial. I just added a spinning pyramid so you could see what was going on. So, let's slow it down slightly. We're going to make it a one degree per tick. That looks kind of okay. Now let's make it a strangely spinning thing so it'll seem more obvious what is going on. There's our pyramid spinning at an odd angle. What's up with that? Well, hmm. How's that happening? We now have our um, menus integrated. Not only do we have our menus integrated, but it so happens we have our um, Windows integrated too. And in fact, all the Squeak desktop is now integrated with OpenGL. Let's make something a little more impressive. And speed it up a little bit. Notice that the windows overlap between the OpenGL space and the non-OpenGL space. The menus work. You can drag a window in. Notice the scaling and whatnot isn't quite perfect. This technique was developed by a friend of mine for the Open Cobalt world so you could have overlapping windows. But in fact, it will work with op any OpenGL space. And uh, basically, with a little tweaking for the scaling and the positioning, you can now have 3D graphics embedded in any program. You can have um, widgets embedded in 3D graphics. You can have 3D graphics embedded in widgets. Um, you can create new kinds of widgets. You could create 3D chart programs that work with the 2D graphics and 2D chart programs that work with the 3D graphics. Whatever. You could have completely new interfaces developed on the fly, dynamically, with Squeak. Pretty cool.